Do you remember when you were excited about the way that a race was designed in D&D? That you look at the the mechanics and the bonuses and all of the, the stats on it and you're like, that looks really interesting to play. I'm excited to make a character that uses that race. I'd say there's a pretty good chance that if we're talking about 5e races, it's one of the flying races. Or the uh, versatile heritage race, or one of the, one of the the races that gives you a free feat, because feats are very powerful. Flight is very powerful. Flight is actually kind of busted in fifth edition. So I think those are the most likely candidates. You know, I don't see people getting excited about humans, dwarves, elves. Halflings, gnomes, dragonborn, tieflings, except for the uh, tieflings got some variants that there's like the flying tiefling. People probably like that one because it's got style and wings. For the most part, 5e races are pretty boring. They're very low key abilities. The ability score increases hardly matter. Uh, you know, you'll want to pick a race that increases the, uh, the correct ability scores for your class, obviously. But, like, it's like it's not super necessary, and the bonuses are relatively small anyway. It's a plus two and a plus one. Mm, it's not that exciting. Uh, and I think a lot of them lately are just plus two to anything and plus one to anything else. Um, so that doesn't even really matter. Uh, I think... I, I, my perception is that a lot of tables are switching over to that even for previously established races. Think about it for a moment about those early, the player's handbook races and the philosophy that went into their design. The original human was shipped as a plus one to all ability scores. And that's it. That's it. There's the variant human that everyone plays if they're going to play a human. But the baseline human is just plus one to every ability score. That's incredibly boring. It's boring and weak, which makes it a perfect race for a martial class. And then the Dragonborn gets, uh, I think they get, what, resistance to the element of their breath weapon. Uh, and then their breath weapon is an action to use and does a small amount of damage that barely scales at all. Like, these are these are not exciting races, their features hardly matter to most characters. Um, and they're, they're just kind of like awkward to use, really. Like if you, if, like think about any race with a natural weapon. When are you going to use that natural weapon? Under what circumstances are you going to choose to use that instead of a weapon that you have chosen or a spell because you're a spellcaster? You know, these are... These are ribbon features, and the ribbons are not pretty. Um, I'm not even going to take this opportunity to say, look at how 4th edition did it. Races are so much better in 4th edition. Because you know that's what I'm thinking. Instead, I'm just going to leave it as is. Let's judge 5th edition on its own merits. Race design is pretty boring. It's, I honestly, I think the probably one of the least interesting parts about character creation is picking a race other than picking from a very small selection of races that do things that other races don't do that also happen to be powerful flight um you know if you want to be like a mid-tier optimizer like myself uh you know you might pick like the warforged for its plus one ac you know like straight bonuses to ac are pretty rare so like let's pick that that kind of thing. Or, you know, pick the variant human for the free feet or any of the other races that get a free feat, you know. So then you can sort of, oh, I don't want to say break the feat economy, but, you know, you can accelerate your feat gains. Uh, it's important for certain builds. So other than those, like, the races just aren't exciting. Um, I think that is a major failure of, of the game design is that the races fail to excite. They fail to inspire. And I think that's a shame. 
and I'm I'm frankly baffled that some of these races actually like got greenlit and like got sent out the door in the state that they're in because they're obviously bad. They're bad and dull. <laughs> uh, I think it's just an unfortunate state. Um, I, I'm not going to uh, come to any like great conclusions here because to do so, I would need to compare this to other games, and I do that quite a bit already. Um, so we're just going to say that I don't like races in 5th edition. It's, it's just, it's not a flawed mechanic in concept. It's just extremely poorly executed. And I don't see any indication that they're looking to change that.